Hey guys, it's your girl Princess Selena. Make sure to go follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and make sure to add me on Snap. Love you, butterflies. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alina here today with another video for you, guys. And today I'll be showing you guys how to refresh in your braids. So. You guys might be wondering, why is she doing this video? Well, that is because these braids are it today. I got onto a slip and slide and it just messed the braids up. So we're gonna basically just be rejuvenating them. I'm gonna do a scalp treatment. I'm going to dip them in hot water just to get that fuzziness away and kind of melt it together. And so yeah, um, before we get to this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell so you're notified on all the videos I make. And let's get into the video. Okay guys, so there's my pot. I set it for five minutes on high. It has a few minutes left, so I'll see you guys when it is finished. Okay guys, so my pot is finished, so let's go ahead and end it. Okay guys, so I'm just using a simple big cup. I am now moving my pot over to a different burner so it can cool down. I've already turned the stove off. Okay guys, so I still have my cup and I got a little measuring cup. Um, I'm pouring the water in there, the hot water, and I have a very bad pour, as you guys can see, but, um, I'm gonna get a paper towel real quick, and now I'm drying it off. Guys, be careful, because you don't want to burn yourself, okay? Be absolutely careful, because burning yourself hurts, okay? I burnt myself just now. But anyways, now I'm gonna pour it into the cup, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back up to my okay, room. Okay guys, so I'm now in my bathroom, I have my hot water. And it actually is kind of hot, so I recommend that you don't just use your hands for this. Um, before you start, you want to make sure that you have two rags, like normal washcloths, that you can put. And you can put it on your hair and just let it dry. And it'll sit there so your hair can dry. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm using for my washcloths. And then we can definitely go ahead and get into the dipping. These are the cloths I'm using, just two simple white cloths. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you my way of doing the dipping. Some people do it differently, but this is my way. So, as y'all can see, these braids are just like, uh-uh. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Alright, so basically, y'all can see I already have a little part. I'm just going to go down the back with it. And just kind of separate the hair. There we go. And then I take one side and I put a scrunchie around it so that it does not get into the hot water. And I'm only working with this side. And I'm going to go ahead and start dipping. Okay, as you can see, I look really crazy right now, but um, I'm just holding my hair in there so that the water doesn't drip out all over my floor or on me. It just drips into here, and this cloth will soak it all in. And as you guys can see, this cloth is literally wet right now, so I'm going to just let it sit here for a little bit while I do the other hair, and I'm going to take this scrunchie out and wrap this around here so that it stays so let's go ahead and start working on the other section of here I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, it's dripping. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how, like, what I mean by cloudy. That cloudy. So you can just literally put it out in your sink because you're done with that water. And as you can see, there's the cloudiness. You are now officially done with dipping your hair. I would say just let it sit like this for a few more minutes, and then uh, you could take it out. 
um, your cup, you can go ahead and probably wash this. You might want to because it's cloudy. And I don't know where the cloudiness comes from. It's either dirt, but it's probably not dirt. It's probably just the color kind of getting into the water because the hair actually, the like color has faded away now. So I would say that it's the color from the hair. But as you guys can tell, I did not get all the way up here and that's not where you wanna be at. You wanna stay at the ends. It's okay if you get a little bit of the actual braid in there, but you wanna stay at the ends. So I'm gonna let it sit in for a few more minutes and then we're gonna take it. Okay guys, so I've taken the first one out and it's just a little damp, but overall it's a lot better. Now let's do the other one. This one is really nice. It's actually, I think I dipped this one a little more than the other one, but it's gonna be okay. I'll just leave it like this. But look at him. It looks a lot better, y'all. And it kind of like give me a nice little curly look too. Perfect. Okay, so if you were following along with me while I did this, I just want to show you what everything that you use should look like. If it doesn't look like this, I don't think you did something wrong, but maybe there was just a little bit of a mix up or it just didn't work like it did for me. But your scrunchies should be kind of damp. You don't need to dry them, they're air dry on their own. And then your rags should be kind of wet too. They'll air dry on their own too. But I would definitely recommend you go and wash them because you just dipped it and used it on your hair. It'd be kind of weird if you use that again for something else. So now that we finished dipping my hair, I'm gonna let it drip a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna pull it back into a ponytail and I'm gonna kind of like roll it up at the ends because the ends are really, really wet. Um, after that, I'll be doing my scalp treatment, which is basically just an oil that my hairstylist made for me. And my mom's going to put it in my hair because I have trouble doing it on my own. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so um, when I say I was going to pull my hair back into a ponytail, as you can see that my hair has a little bit more length now because I fixed it and I got rid of that um, shrinkage and fuzz. So, when I say do a ponytail, I don't mean like a high ponytail, like this. I know this isn't really that high, but still you don't want one that's up here. You want it to be a really low ponytail, as low as you can go. It doesn't have to be a perfect ponytail, but it should be pretty good, enough for it to just stay back there. Um, if your ends are hot, I meant to say this earlier, but if your ends are hot, you need to roll them up because it will definitely hurt your skin. And no one wants bad skin, of course. But um, if it's kind of cold, you can let it drip. It will kind of wet up your pants a little bit, but it'll be okay. And also, be careful when you're dipping because when you dip, you want to go very slow, be patient, and take your time. Because if you're not, it will burn you. And I got burned like three times already trying to get this um, YouTube video perfect for you guys. And also, when you're putting your hair in a ponytail, you might want to be aware because there will be a lot of splashing going on because your hair is literally still wet. It'll either be cold or hot, depending on what it kind of feels like in your house, I would say. Because if you have a, like if your house is hot right now, it'll probably cause your braids to stay hot. But if your house is kind of cold, um, it'll keep your, it'll turn your, braids to a colder state um but be careful make sure that you have parental supervision if you're under the age um to be doing this and make sure that you have your parents permission before doing this um i honestly didn't need it because i don't know i guess i'm old enough but um i'm gonna go ahead and let this finish dripping and everything and um i'm gonna show you guys how it's holding up in a minute because i'm about to go eat and then after i finish um letting this drip i'm going to put my do my scalp treatment and then i'm going to put it back into a ponytail so that um the oil does not drip and go into the braids here is the oil that i use that's what it kind of looks like as you guys can tell i've had a refresh of my braids a lot since i first got them um but this is the oil that my um hairstylist made for me i don't know what is inside of this but it just really helps keeping my scalp 
uh, moist and rejuvenated and it keeps my scalp from drying up way too much um if your hairstyle is mixed in oil for you i would recommend you ask them what's in it first because i don't know if you have your religions or anything but uh, i already texted my hairstylist and she said she's going to tell me what she put in it in a few minutes she has to go ahead and get her little notebook out Okay guys, so I am back from getting my hair done. Uh, that oil treatment was pretty easy. Uh, it took about like five to eight minutes. It wasn't that long. Um, those clips were kind of hard to get because I was actually trying to keep my head in the position my mom told me to so she could get the perfect spot. But um, I think maybe in another video I'll show you guys how I do it on my own. Because I know some of you might be like, I'm not getting my mom to do my hair. That's just so embarrassing. Yeah, I understand that's how some people are. But it doesn't have to be your mom who does it. It could be like your older sister or one of your friends. Or you could just do it by yourself. But in another video, I'll make sure to show you how I do it by myself. Okay, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys follow along. And I hope you guys use this whenever you get box braids. But for me in this video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the post notification bell so you're notified on all the videos I make. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.